Hi everybody, welcome back. It's me, Zayden Blaze. And we're back with, guess what? Tales of Berzaria, some more of that. Can't wait to play more of it. Also, can't wait for Tales of Arise. Oh, this is going to be so freaking epic. I can't wait. And that's why I'm playing this as a heads up to Tales of Arise. Hell yeah, 10th of September. Uh, wrong button. <sighs> This place isn't safe. That hole's gotten bigger. I've told them a thousand times they ought to build a fence, but they keep saying it's forbidden land. Forbidden land? Even Selka used to scare me with it. She was always, this is a gateway to the underworld. To the well, underworld. I'm too old to keep falling for that nonsense. I certainly hope so, Velvet. Or should I say Christina Valenzuela? Oh, miss, a voice actress. Yeah, right, attack the little boy. Oh, I dodged your attack, and I gained one of these, even though I can't use them. Out. I win. Not bad. God damn, this should be boards. enough to cover the medicine. Fuck you! Yeah. I'd better bring these to the store. You better. God damn, Velvet. You better hurry, or else who knows what might happen to little old Laffy set. Hopefully nothing bad. Am I right? Heh heh heh. Premonition. Contradiction. Maybe a little bit of both. Some foreshadowing. Stuff like. Oh, let's skip you. You ye old pricklebore. Return to the shop. And that is what we will do. No use in trying to get any more XP out of those. They're weak old pricklebores. Can't even prick me, can ya? Ya boar. Hey, it's a cutscene. Oh. It's more pricklebores. The boars I hunted. Are you there? Oh boy. Maxim three. Maxim Never three. waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle. That's not how the tide of battle works, but sure. In arts. All right. Oh boy. Searing edge. How do we want to use searing edge? Searing edge! Oh well that's not how I want to use it. No. No, please. Right, here goes! Sayaka! This is for Luffy! Sayaka! Please tell me it ain't so. Please tell me there's a different way to use these controls. They really have to fight using arrow keys. That's so impractical. I did it. Well, ain't all of those for? Oh no. Cirrus. Ceres. Ceres. An exorcist art. Pride and anxiety. Pity for the enemy. Thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. Will it now? Will it really, Arthur? I doubt it will. Agreed. It's one of her virtues as well. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got to... Ah, he's talking to his imaginary friend. Arthur? Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. Are you seriously referring in to yourself case, in the third person? This should be enough to buy Lafayette's medicine. Oh, goddamn, yes it will. I'll drop the prickle bores off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. 
I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came oh, out no. here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Oh, right. no. One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? No Crystal, way! Please. What? I can handle a bunch of... Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. That's the cold logic of the world, and no emotions can change it. Do you think I could become an exorcist? Nope. Heck to the no. Why no, is it you no. think that birds fly? That's a stupid question. Why? Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. All right. Tomorrow is Selica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Yes, sir. Hurry back. I'll make you a quiche, just the way she taught me. Yes. Quiche. Hey, a level up. Let's go. Prickle bore me some more. Pr oh. I wonder if those prickle bores were brothers. Maybe I should have let them go. But then, how would I pay for Laffy's medicine? Hunting took care of that. And it means food for us as well. I had no other choice. It was a rational decision. It wasn't a rational decision. But the decision. fact that I'm still worrying about it shows that my feelings are getting the better of me. It's called a guilty conscience, Velvet. It's, it's as simple as that. People have it. It's, it's, it's only human. And you're human, right? You're not a demon, are you? Are you, Velvet? You're no demon, right? Of course not. Look at that happy chipper face. Aww. So cute. Wait, hello there. Nico, here for groceries? Yep. And you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, Lady Breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. <laughs> oh, yeah? What a fast rejection. You want to do something about your style, then? Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. Get a new one. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sail on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? Yes. I'm fine, What kind of shopkeeper are you, goddammit? I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. Oh boy, that's not good. When's it coming then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh no. Oh boy. Ugh, what is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But we're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor I fellow mean, couldn't even protect his own wife and child. No, that's that's not Let really me something know when the to say. Gets in. in front uh, of that wife's uh, of course. sister, you know. For now, here on the house. Zero tact, my dude. Zero tact. You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special key. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious! Please. This is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? You too? The important thing is my feelings. I mean, to you, yes. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right! 
Darn fucking right. I like her attitude. Hey, let's do well, people must be to talk starving to. by now. I better hurry home. <laughs> Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know. They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, Scary that dogs. kitty Rollo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape, shape up. up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. Arr. They're completely hopeless. Completely. Maybe. But they're so cute. So I forgive them. See that, doggos? You should be very thankful. Forgiven. Oh, so easily. Due to your pretty eyes and cheerful nature. Celica taught you how to make your special quiches, right, Velvet? Yeah, but mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest. They're fantastic. Simple, yet, yet elegant. elegant. That's because there's a secret in the cheese on the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road. <gasps> we could even wear matching uniforms. Would it make more money than hunting bricklebores? Definitely, maybe. Definitely, Even more maybe. so if you could lighten up a bit in front of them. Then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Laffy a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters. Oh, don't be so boring. I get where you're coming from, but come on. Think big. Dream, Velvet. Dream. Think big? No, thanks. I want a peaceful life with Laffy and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. Then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. Yep. Keep practicing. Making it for the family. The fam. The family. The family, mally, nally, family. Be that as it may. Velvet is doing great so far. Although her, her dreams are kind of boring and still... Live for yourself, a little girl. Come on. Still, it's something to look forward to. Hi, Celica. I'm back. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. So oh, sad. Trat. I forgot to bring your princessias. Princessias. I know how much you, Mom... And Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm and so sorry. the entire family. I'll pick some from the Cape tomorrow. Except for you. You don't like those flowers. Princessias signify betrayal. Don't you know that, Velveteen? Velveteen Palpatine? Looking for some mandarin? And a big, juicy... Uh. Welcome home, the Velvet. Luffy, I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. The table isn't the bed, young Look, man. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm so... You're sorry, and you should be. What's this? It's a, a compass. compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo. You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Luffy. Big Come explorer, on. Aren't it's you? a must have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? The prickle Not bars? a scratch. Fuck and no. I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet. I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming <laughs> home tonight, is he? Nope. How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Oh, is Arthur's that Arthur's so? Moloch? Huh. You really can talk to Malachim, can't you? Yeah, he can. Yeah. Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No oh, kidding. that you do. I think you'll be an exorcist rival, even him. I can tell uh, oh, you've been learning will. all sorts of things from his book collection. He will rival all of the exorcists. I really want to become an exorcist. 
I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. Oh, a true gentleman. I wish... I wish I could do that. I know you can't. You silly little boy. You'll get there, Luffy said. It should only take... Yeah, 13 years. Oh, 20 years tops. God damn it. It won't take me that long. Oh yeah? You better prove it to me then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks. Am I clear? Is yes, she clear, Luffy said? Right, cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. Yes, lighting the stove. I will light the stove. Right after I read. The day before Scarlet Night, Sis went prickle boar hunting on her own. She's almost as good a fighter as Arthur. So I know those prickle boars don't stand. But I worry that she's too athletic to land a husband. Maybe she should try to be more ladylike. <laughs> Little scamp. He just knew I'd be reading this. Laugh, he said. Those aren't the kind of thoughts you're supposed to have about your sister. That's her own thing to worry about. Hey, what? Why the fuck did I come up here? What? Why in the fuck am I here? Oh, the other book. Isn't this Arthur's book? Is Laffy really reading stuff this dense? <laughs> Poor kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. Fuck yeah. Squint him real good. It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Fire? Velvet? Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. That's not mm, true. I know, but, but just for today? <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? That's what I wanted, but I went ahead of myself. God damn it. Give me that. Give me that. There you go. Not spicy hot, but oh so delicious. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah. I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. She's coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. I will. I'm glad you've got a good friend. Yes. Yeah, we've known each other what? since forever. Still, Nico um. falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. Laffy, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? A g girl Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Oh, and she's gotta be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. Like, Me? I I've got enough on my mind. Velvet, he's for like, one thing, he's like eight. I've got to cook for you and Arthur since Salika like is gone. Velvet. Besides, getting crushes on strange men, I just don't see what's so. <coughs> Luffy, what's wrong? Velvet, you don't need to worry about your little brother's, about your sick little brother's love life. He's like eight. Maybe nine. You're 16. You should be having those kinds of thoughts about some, I don't know, guys in your village. Boys, men, I don't fucking know. Whatever the fuck 16-year-old girl, girls like. I don't know. I'm dumb as shit. Are you alright? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all. And it made me choke a bit. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know, but I'm trying to look after you too. I want you to be happy, that's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah, I that's what families so. do. Thanks, Laffy. 
Do you, you do that? I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. Don't eradicate the prickle boars. <gasps> what am I doing? Down. I need to hurry and get dinner ready. Yes, you should. Don't think about eradicating the goddamn prickle boars. You need them for your society, for your economy, for your food income, and all your other income, and your geld income, and your income come. Come income? I confuse myself. Eat, you little child. Good boy. You didn't forget your medicine. Hooray. Well, I did promise. You, you did. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Yep. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? No. Of course. No, you incestuous motherfucker. He's having dirty thoughts about Velvet again. How dare you? How dare you? Okay, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for- hmm? There's love, he said. And the book, and the you thing- You little- Where have you gone? He's gone off somewhere where he shouldn't be right now. Probably the village. You better not have gone to the village alone. Ah! Uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. Of course not. I mean, it's not like you're that long away from the village. But like, you know. It's not nice to keep your sister waiting. Uh, no. I haven't seen him. What about the book, though? Um... Wait! That's one of Arthur's! Actually, it's a copy that Lafayette made. A copy, you say? Interesting. <sighs> a smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. Luffy, did he really copy all that by hand? Oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. Oh, Told him I'd throw eyes. it in for free, but he said that it would be a bad deal for me. He's a good lad, but... Not the merchant type. Nope, not at so, all. So, what did he use the money for? He doesn't for? know how to calculate 2 plus 2 that would equal 7. I'm afraid you know? my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Velvet, I saw Loppy set walking around. Is he okay? No. He's not okay. Where'd no, you he's see not? him? Nico. He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Yes? Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. I right, gotta catch that rascal, but first I gotta save. And that'll be it for I this know. episode. He might have gone to the Cape to pick flowers. Right, but save first, life is at second. Because we'll get him next time, I swear, Z's. And this will be it for this episode, guys. Peace.